Good morning, Sunday School friends. Today we are going to be learning about a story about Peter and Tabitha. Tabitha was an important person in her community and she oftentimes helped out people in need. Tabitha was very sick and ended up dying and everyone was so sad and was mourning her death. But Peter sent everyone out to kneel and pray and he turned to Tabitha's body and said, Tabitha, get up. And she opened her eyes and she sat up and pe Peter helped her up out of bed. Um, news about this spread throughout the area of this miracle that had happened. And acts, this is an act of love that is shown through this story and the connection and the con concern for her community um, and their love and support for her in return. And I know that there probably will be a lot of questions. Um, how was Tabitha healed? How can she come back from the dead? We're going to read our Bible story in a minute and it'll talk a little bit more about it in our video. But I think that it's okay to ask questions. It's okay to have questions. Um, and it's okay to not exactly have the right answer too. But the most important part of the story is the love and support of the community in uncertain times. So let's read our Bible verse next. Okay, friends, today we are adding, we, we are reading Acts chapter 9, verses 36 to 43. In Joppa, there was a disciple named Tabitha who was always doing good and helping the poor. About that time, she became sick and she died. Her body was washed and placed in an upstairs room. Lydda was near Joppa, and so when the disciples heard that Peter was in Lydda, they sent two men into him and urged him, please come at once. Peter went with them, and he arrived, and he was taken upstairs to the room. All the windows stood around, widows stood around him crying and showing him the robes and other clothing that Tabitha had made while she was still with them. Peter sent them all out of the room and then he got down on his knees and prayed, turning towards the dead woman. He said, Tabitha, get up. She opened her eyes and seeing Peter, she sat up. He took her by the hand and helped her to her feet. Then he called the believers and the widows and presented her to them alive. This became known all over and many people believed in the Lord. Peter stayed there for some time with a tanner named Simon. So let's learn a little bit more about this story in our video next. Greetings, I'm Carly. In today's Bible story, we meet a woman named Tabitha. Tabitha was known for being really kind and for showing love to all those around her. Her life was filled with serving others and making sure that her community had all that they needed. She reminds me of my next door neighbor. My neighbor is amazing. She always helps anyone whenever they need it. She bakes bread for people, lets people stay over at her house, and she always says nice things to everyone she meets. The whole community loves her so much because of the way that she loves everyone around her. I bet Tabitha's community loved her like that too because she helped everyone in need. But something really sad happened to Tabitha. She got really sick and she died. The community was really, really sad. They loved her. They did everything that they could for her. Some people heard that Tabitha's friend, Peter, was nearby, so they went to get him. They didn't know what he could do, but they wanted to make sure that they tried everything. Her community wanted to care for her just like she cared for them. When Peter hears about Tabitha, he comes immediately. Together, they share memories of Tabitha and how she served her community. After that, Peter speaks to Tabitha and a miracle happens. She gets up. Wow, this is amazing. And it all started with love. Tabitha loved her community, and the community loved her during a really hard situation. And because Peter loved Tabitha and the community, he came to see how he could help. In this case, a miracle happened, but the biggest miracle of all was the love shared in the community. Tabitha is remembered as someone who loved and served others, 
each of us can do the same. Now, it's time for you to wonder. Friends, in our Bible story today, the people supported one another and prayed together. It was very special and important um, for them to pray for their friend, and it is very special and important to pray for your friends. So today, as we end our Sunday school lesson, as, as we come together in prayer, I want you to think about who can you pray for this week? Who is that one person who just needs a little extra special prayer from you or from our community? So let's put our hands together and pray. Lord, thank you for all of your good works. Thank you for being there for us to pray to. Thank you for listening to our prayers. We pray this week the person that we are especially keeping in our thoughts can have our love and our support in our community. All right, ready? Big finish. Amen. Bye, friends. I'll see you next week.